Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and today I'm gonna show you around Darkness Bot, the EUC app you use for iOS. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. Okay, so a while ago I transitioned from Android to iPhone and before I was using EOC World as a main app to control my electric unicycles and, you know, the unicycles for testing. So I already made a video about EOC World and you can check it out in the link here. For iOS you have Darkness Bot and, you know, the premise is basically very similar. Um, you just connect your phone to, to the EUC and then you can set up the different parameters of the EUC. So now I'll just turn on the emotion here. First thing you might want to do is find it here, connect it to the V10F. Now it's connected. So the main screen is uh, pretty, pretty simple. It has like a, these uh, small boxes you can move around their speed, temperature, max speed, battery, you know, all these other parameters are mainly mileage and you can also like move them around to different screens. I just left them stock. I, I think it's just, just fine like that. And if you, you know, just, I just move it around, you can see the speed now. And while the phone is connected, you can also check out the graphs, but I think it's actually a premium feature. If you do have darkness, but I highly recommend to get the premium version. It's relatively cheap and you don't need to renew it like you do have to on the EUC world. If you go into each of these small rectangles then you can reset the trip or reset the top speed. There's also buttons you can use for a horn, there's a compass, a torch, you can turn on and off. It shows you the weather and you can also turn on and off the side lights on the on the wheel. You can also turn off the wheel. So yeah, these are the main options. In the upper left corner, you can also see like an exit button. That's how you disconnect from the UC. And now I just want to reconnect to it. There's also a small uh, camera icon on the upper right corner, which I find really useful. It's really cool. You can just record uh, your ride and it will record all the parameters Oops, <laughs> on the side. So this is a really cool thing about um, Darkness Bot. I think also the layout is pretty cool, but EUC World now also has this feature. Um, then we can go into the next tab, which is on the lower side of, uh, of the screen, which is trips. One thing I uh, do not like that much about trips is that even though if you record trips, you have to just press the button here, it records you all the data from GPS, like where you were, but it doesn't record like the speed, I, at least I couldn't find out how to uh, make a readout out. This one, yeah, it, there's like a small icon if it shows you the uh, GPS data. But the sad part is that there's like no speed graph or any graph that shows you how the speed has been used there. It just shows you uh, very basic data like max speed, average speed, temperature, current and peak current, which is nice, but you know, I would really like to see the graphs uh, once again. And one more issue of the graphs is that they are really like vague. So you can just set it to these increments, which are here, well, minute, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. And as said, they're like pretty, pretty vague. I much more prefer the graphs, which are on UC World. So here you can see uh, the trips. Then you can also check out the map and you can also see other users uh, when they were logged in or where they have their wheels. You can also set up that it shows you only friends you have on Darkness Bot or only guys with connected devices or only guys that are currently online. So that's pretty cool, but not really a feature I, I, I used so far. And you can also see your friends, your followers. Yeah, that's basically it. You can edit profile or share it. Now we move on to my favorite part basically of uh, these EUC apps and this is the settings. So in settings, there are several tabs. Let's check out device first. It shows you all the important features of the device. And when you connect uh, your wheel first uh, to Darkness Mod, especially like with Gotway wheels, you need to set the battery capacity and also the voltage. Uh, it's not shown on the uh, emotion here because it knows it's an emotion, but you need to set it up. You can also set up your max speed, which is like tilt back speed. And then you have the automatic torch, which is a premium feature. So essentially, if you don't ride on the wheel, then it will just stay dark, like the torch won't be on, but as long when you start riding, it will just turn on the torch automatically, which is a cool option, but 
I just use it at the beginning. I like to just have the light on all the time when I'm in the night and sometimes it takes a while to let it turn on. So cool feature, but don't really use it a lot. So next up, there's uh, a speed limit which is basically like a throttling for you know legal purposes or whatever which you can set up and there's a bluetooth pairing mode so you can set up a code to connect to your wheel then you can also turn on and off the handle so essentially the the button here will be not um not active and you can set up the volume of all the system warnings on the wheel not on the phone on the wheel and you can also adjust the pedals like on the InMotion app i don't see any calibration here which is a bummer you probably need to calibrate the wheel in uh, in the InMotion app in this case and as you will see later uh there's like issues with calibration i can't essentially calibrate any godway wheel now now if it will be fixed then i'll just write in the description below that it's fixed but now it doesn't work with godway wheels which is a bummer so the next up we can see the application settings and this is by far my favorite setting uh, it's alarms so you can set up different sort of alarms in this app essentially vibration so if you're going a certain speed it will start to vibrate and there's like different um, like first class, second class and third class alarms and it's really awesome because you feel your phone vibrating when you're going for example I don't know 50 kilometers an hour 55 and then you'll you, you know that you reached a certain speed it's sometimes really hard to judge the speed you're going on an EUC especially if you have tailwind uh, wind in the front or you're just feeling good this day it's really hard to judge the speed on a EUC and especially if you have one that has uh, tilt back off these options will help you a lot you can also set up alarms by amperage so especially if you're accelerating uh, you don't want to you know overpower the wheel or get too much stress on the battery then you can set up uh, alarms by amperage for example on the Sherman I had it before I think on 140 or something like that but yeah, now I now I have it off because I listen to all the stock beeps which are on the on the Sherman. So then you can also set up uh, alarms by power. So how many watts you're using essentially. Uh, also pretty cool and also temperature, which is the temperature of the main board. Everything really cool, really nice. I highly suggest setting up especially the speed uh, alerts. For example, in the Sherman it might be like. 75 <laughs> uh, if you don't hear the beeps on the wheel or 70 um, or on other wheels you can also set it up like on the Nikola for 55, 58, 60. It's really useful because like with lots of helmets you can't hear the beeps like fortunately enough I can hear beeps on my Rurock helmet but anyways I also have the alarms on here and I also have a Bluetooth speaker which I use for alarms so it's the same setup essentially as mickey uses evx and you can get like any speaker this is a jbl clip 3 uh, so so you can hear alarms on on your wheel so you can also set up alarms on the connection disconnection and the cool thing is that you can also connect darkness bots to your apple watch so then it will vibrate on your apple watch now i don't use watches anymore yeah i just have it on my phone but and it's quite a hassle to have uh, wrist guards on alongside a watch but if you have like any method to use an apple watch with darkness bot i highly suggest that and there's also other features that can be shown on the apple watch so anyways uh, the same alarms you can set up like these were the vibrations and then you can also select the sound alarms and the smart alarms is a very cool function which you should definitely cross like that it's on so the lower battery state you have the earlier the alarms will kick in really awesome feature Use, use it on your, you know, Bigodi wheels, on your MSPs, RSs, Veteran Shermans. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a really cool option. And the same thing by amperage, by power, temperature, and so on, sound. So now I set the alarms at 20, 25, and 30. Yeah, now the alarms were essentially played in the Tesla speaker because my phone just connected to it. If you set up by amperage, then when you will be starting, you'll, you'll hear it. That's the amperage alarm. And then there can be also voice alarms. Let's actually check it out. I never actually heard how a voice alarm sounds like. Speed exceeded. 
Okay. <laughs> Basically that. <laughs> Alarms are very important, very nice in darkness, but and I think they're also really, uh, really, really functional. Uh, this is a feature worth paying for for the premium version of the app. Now there's also uh, a voice recorder, which is basically, you know, the, the thing I showed you before with the camera widget. You can also set up some uh, things there. You can also set up your imperial system, miles instead of kilometers an hour, Celsius Fahrenheit. And you can also set up your theme, lock the on orientation, probably a good thing to have. And don't sleep, so the app will always stay on and record you know, data when, when, when you're connected to the EOC. And neural network is, I guess, the um, smart alarms and all that good stuff. So I, I just leave it on. So then we can also go for privacy. You can set up how you are visible to other users, shop. I would just you know, buy premium instead of buying everything uh, separately. Integration, you can actually connect um, darkness bots to several hardware buttons or hardware uh, electronics. For example, the Mio armband, then you can uh, also see what the instructions are, how to use the Mio armband. Like, I, I don't use it, but if you do have one, then you can check that out. There's also the flick button. So for example, you press a button and then torch turns on or whatnot. Uh, you can also integrate it with HomeKit and there's also Siri shortcuts so we can just get a special um, haste commands and then link them to certain tasks on the UC. All right, so then there's only the about option and yeah, neural network. So these are the main options uh, or main features of Darkness Bot. And one thing I don't really like is that all of the settings of the app, so like the alarms, are set to one wheel essentially. So if I have the alarms on the Sherman, like so 75, 78, 80 kilometers an hour, uh, then this will be the same alarm as on the MSX. So for example, if I connect to the MSX right now, then you will see that it's the same alarms, which is not good. Like if <laughs> this is not as fast as the um, MSX can go. So I, I wish like in the future they will just implement alarms and save it like to the wheel you're connecting to. Uh, but anyways, I hope that you liked this uh, simple tour on, uh, on the Darkness Bot app. Um, I think it's actually, I don't like it that much as EOC World. I like how it looks like, I like the, you know, the layouts and I do like the recording feature and I love the alarms as well, they're also really easy to set up. But I don't see the graphs so uh, nicely and sometimes it just doesn't want to connect. I need to restart the app or reconnect the wheel, it's, uh, sometimes it's a bit too, too buggy. So if you're still here. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.